so in the past, I want to say four months, I have met two people in my life who have tattoos related to the book that I'm about to talk about today which is called The Little Prince and it is a very very famous French children's book and it's been translated into many different languages so I decided to pick up a copy because the few friends that I've heard talk about it loved it so much that they got tattoos pertaining to something from the book so I kind of wanted to read it it's a really really short book and I wanted to give my first impressions and then overall thoughts once I actually finish it there's a film that I did watch prior to reading this book I watched bits and pieces of it I was a little confused I didn't know what was going on so I don't really know too much about the actual premise of this novel. I also had a difficult time with the translation, so I was looking at reviews on Amazon and people were saying that this particular translator wasn't as good as Catherine Woods, I think, which is supposed to be this one. I was struggling to find an edition that still had Catherine Woods because it was translated a while ago, but then this one... It has like a little introduction by Sam Sloan and he says that he changed some of the words for the better so this is partially his translation too so if you read The Little Prince let me know who translated it like if you're reading it in English obviously I wish I knew enough French to actually read it in a native language but I do not I'm gonna get started so I'm up to chapter 3 and I'm liking it so far, it's super cute. <laughs> he just met the little prince and he told him to draw him a sheep and he went through all these different like stages of trying to get it just right. And I thought it was really cute. I read a couple words. So it took me a long time to learn where he came from. The little prince who asked me so many questions never seemed to hear the ones I asked him. It was from words dropped by chance that little by little everything was revealed to me. The first time he saw my airplane, for instance, I shall not draw my airplane, that would be much too complicated for me. He asked me, what is that object? That is not an object, it flies, it is an airplane, it is my airplane, and I was proud to have him learn that I could fly. He cried out then, what, you dropped down from the sky? Yes, I answered modestly. Oh, that is funny. And the little prince broke into a lovely peal of laughter, which irritated me very much. I like my misfortunes to be taken very seriously. Then he added, so you too come from the sky, which is your planet? At that moment, I caught a gleam of light in the impenetrable mystery of his presence, and I demanded abruptly, do you come from another planet? But he did not reply. He tossed his head gently without taking his eyes off my plane. It is true that on that you can't have come from very far away. Then he sank into a ravine which lasted a long time. Then taking my sheep out of his pocket, he buried himself in the contemplation of his treasure. I'm going to keep reading. I really like this line. He says, then you should judge yourself, the king answered. That is the most difficult thing of all. It is much more difficult to judge oneself than to judge others. If you succeed in judging yourself rightly, then you are indeed a man of true wisdom. I just finished reading the book and it was great. I really, it's hard to talk about it now that I realize halfway through this video that I really can't explain the full premise of it, but it was a really sweet, cute book. I'm so glad I read it. I think if I had read it as a child, I probably would have been like, mm, what the heck is this? But it is so beautiful. And I think the way the author portrays adults and kind of the things like that they are so consumed over was really interesting. So basically, it's a story of a man who, what, like he is stranded in the desert. And he meets the little prince. And basically, while he's fixing his little airplane, the prince tells him the story of where he came from, his planet, and then all the other planets that he's visited throughout his journey and it's just a beautiful story i definitely recommend reading it or at least borrowing it from the library and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this little random video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys very soon with another video i this was all filmed on the same day mind you i just changed my clothes because i had to go outside but thank you so much for watching bye